It's the year of the flanger and we've looked at some cool new units, but today we're going to take a look at a vintage flanger from back in the day. This is a 1984 MXR 2000 series stereo flanger, it's sometimes called a 203. In the late 70s and early 80s, dynamic rock guitar players like Eddie Van Halen and Randy Rhodes made the watery swoosh MXR flanger pedal required equipment on the pedal boards of every aspiring hard rock guitar player on earth. By 1984, Eddie was playing keyboards, Randy had moved on to the great beyond, and MXR was closing the doors on its Rochester, New York facility, but not before launching a few new lines of effects pedals. The 2000 series line of pedals from MXR, which includes a phaser, flanger, distortion, compressor, delay, chorus pedal, were one of those lines. They were sleek. With their black chassis, rubberized bottoms, easy access door panels, dual LED indicators, they looked less like their reference series older brothers and more like a Klingon shuttlecraft. I have one of these old flangers in the original box with all the original typewriter written instructions. Here's a bit of what MXR had to say about this pedal. The stereo flanger is a studio quiet flanger designed for live performance applications. Its audible effect is one of enhanced tonality, adding a musical quality to even random sound sources such as drums and cymbals. Housed in a compact durable case, the stereo flanger is a reliable, portable source of effect which previously could only be found in studios. Sounds impressive, doesn't it? The controls on this unit are pretty standard flanger controls. The width knob varies the range of the flanger's sweep. The speed knob adjusts the time delay, sweep speed. The region, short for regeneration knob, returns a variable portion of the signal back to the input to be reprocessed. As with most stomp boxes, this pedal can run on a standard 9 volt battery or a bit of a non-standard wall wart type power supply. The stereo outputs function like this. Output number one on the stereo flanger contains the process signal mixed with the dry signal. It's a bit more subtle type of flange effect. Output two on the pedal contains the delay signal inverted in phase 180 degrees mixed with the dry signal. In mono situations, the manual recommends output two because of the more intense flange effect. Lots of people talk smack about the lowly flanger, but I love this pedal and I find its effect very useful and musical. Dime all the controls and you get a cool alternative to a vibro. Dial it back some and you can add an almost chorus-like shimmer to your clean chords and clean runs. I could try to tell you how this pedal sounds, but let's just listen to it instead. Here's a little tune I banged out using three different guitar parts, each featuring a different setting on the MXR 2000 series stereo flanger. I like to call this little tune 2009, You're the Flanger.
let me wrap this up by saying that if you like this pedal, they can be had for around 50 bucks on eBay these days. This makes it a great deal for anybody who wants to get into trying to use some vintage effects pedals but doesn't necessarily have deep pockets. So I'm recommending the MXR 2000 series flanger for all your flanger needs. Until next time, this is Clint Searcy saying, Flange off. <laughs>